All right. Well, 10 till 8. About time to weigh the anchor here. Get our bridle up and then uh, we'll haul in. Windless just stopped. We'll uh, check the breaker here. Not a good sign. Wasn't bogging down too much. <sighs> Tell you. One thing at a time. Yeah. I do have a larger breaker I can put on this windlass. It's an old breaker, I don't even know what size it is. Come on, baby. All right, we'll keep rolling in. We got about 100 feet in, 300 feet. We're still rolling. The nice thing is I can use this bar with the manual side if I need to. All right, we are good to go here. There she is. A little seaweed, but other than that, we're good. Look at that. Boom. Not too bad, 8 a.m. on the nose. Adios, White Cove. Now, some of you viewers that are watching this, you see me going to White Cove all the time, maybe getting a little tired of White Cove. I'll just put this out there. It never gets old for me, so. Every adventure's a little bit different. There are different nuances. It's always a little bit of a different experience. Um, just seeing the place turn green uh, over the winter is pretty awesome for me to get out here. So I enjoy as much time as I can get here, even if it feels like uh, just another routine passage. <clears throat> so I think what I'm gonna do today, I haven't fully decided yet, is I'm gonna cruise over by two harbors by the time I get there, um, I don't know, maybe it'll take me an hour and a half or two. I've, uh, a couple hours probably. I haven't really looked yet. Once I get there, I'll decide whether I want to try and pick up a mooring or head over to Cat Harbor, uh, anchor at Emerald Bay. I haven't really decided, but I'm kind of inclined to pick up a mooring if the conditions are like super chill. I don't want to do a solo mooring pickup if the wind's coming up. This is something I haven't noticed before. There's this uh, spot uh, getting not too far from the turn into the isthmus. There's a big keep out sign and a small building. And I'm wondering if this was like a former quarry or something like that because it looks like there's a little bit of a kind of a road thing that's been graded on this side of the island and maybe you can see it but there's a keep out sign right there and then there's a little building and it looks like there's some kind of road or something cut in here well my hopes and dreams of having no wind and picking up a mooring solo have gone by the wayside seeing about uh, 12 13 true actually and, and I'm seeing about 20 apparent Trying to hold this as steady as I can, but check out all of the birds on Bird Rock. This was Harbor, this was Harbor, Keel Dragger. That's a colony standby. All right. <laughs> The old solo mooring pickup. It's always a little bit of pucker factor, even if there's no wind. I've had a pretty good track record, but I've also had a couple of 
really colossal failures. Alright, just to make this interesting, I um, decided to go ahead and pick up a mooring here solo, so I'm going to try and get an assist from the Harbor Patrol here, just because uh, it's likely to be a shit show. Unfortunately, the Very GoPro battery's dead. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, winds are a little bit chiller over here, but I did have the Harbor Patrol over here for an assist, and he's kind of talking me through it, but I uh, didn't need it. No, it was super easy. I didn't even need the Harbor Assist, so he didn't help at all. Uh, first attempt on the bow pick pickup, I was a little short, and uh, the wind was, was blowing my bow down a little bit, so I did make a second run for a second attempt. That was perfect. Piece of cake, pulling in the sand line, getting this, getting the stern line on. So now I'm just going to go clean up the uh, the lines a little bit and pull the wand on deck. A 10 till 1 p.m. It's kind of funny. Really wanted to get a bow pickup with my mooring, which I did, and it wound up sticking me over here on the high east side of the moorings here at the isthmus. Now we got a little bit of a breeze coming on shore. So, wind's at my stern now, so I could have pulled up and picked up a mooring over there with my bottom wind. Which would have actually been a little easier. Um, less rolly over there and a little bit more protected, so that would have been the better spot to stay. little finesse action to negotiate the dinghy, the outboard, and everything else single-handed. We're going to go over and say hi to Franco. Franco is on a Formosa 51, I believe, named Pegasus. So we'll do a drive-by on Pegasus and see if he's tied up yet. I've got the throttle wide open right now it's barely sputtering so I'm not sure exactly what happened got the vent open the gas line should be open I don't know if there's a little bit of water in the gas or if there's something else going on uh, tried the choke and the choke just kind of killed it so I don't think that's it so I am gonna go ahead and motor uh, as upwind as much as I can
So I hear the restaurants open from 5 to 7 p.m. Given that I didn't really provision at all before I came out on this trip. I think I'm gonna go ahead and treat myself to a nice dinner. About a quarter till six. We got about an hour till sunrise. So we're just hanging out. Got the diesel heater on, having my coffee, looking at the weather, listening to the VHF. Not much going on. Had a nice dinner with JB and Lindsay uh, from SV Ladida and uh, Franco and his wife on uh, SV Pegasus last night at Two Harbors Restaurant. Had a few drinks. Um, good times. 20 till 7. Much wind right now, but we've got a small craft advisory later this afternoon. Gale warning tonight. Um, we may have light wind since we're leaving in the morning heading back. So we may be motor sailing, we'll see. Pick up the dinghy's still there. and I have to negotiate uh, getting this thing aboard, which is always fun. That's uh, mostly the engine. That's the uh, work of picking up the outboard without trying to drop it or yourself. Almost once dropped the outboard into the piss when I was solo and it was actually when I was anchored just right over here. All right, shout out to Lindsay and JB aboard SV Lottie Dock. And another shout out to SV Pegasus. This is why mornings, my favorite times of the day here. We're getting about 13 apparent. Uh, it's coming around 40 degrees uh, off our starboard. Then I've got some swells kind of coming from the west, northwest. We have enough wind. We're going to go ahead and put up the main. We'll probably be motor sailing for a while. I think the wind's supposed to shift from, uh, so there's a lot of east right now. Nor it's northeast. Uh, but there's that east and it's gonna come over to the northwest later today, so it's gonna clock around. Um, could put up the head sails and bear off a little bit. Uh, we'll, tr we'll try the main and see what happens with the wind for a little while. Start with the motor sail, uh, balance things out so we're kinda not rolling as much back and forth. just relax here for the next couple of hours or so till uh, we get towards the shipping lanes. Right now there isn't any traffic of concern that I see on AIS. Oh, this ought to be good. Someone just hailed Coast Guard. <laughs> and that's all they said. everybody's all right 9 30 same situation we've got a little bit of wind on our nose so we're still motor sailing with reefed main uh, we've got san pedro la harbor up in front of us we're about six and three quarter nautical miles out so we have a little over an hour before we get to angel's gate all right, throttle is down. Angel Gates out there a little bit. Decided I'm gonna go ahead and drop the sail a little bit early so I don't have to mess with it when I'm in the harbor. So we'll go ahead and take care of that now. Then we'll uh, motor into the slip. 